comments and announcements this evening. I'd like to give the state of the city address. Members of city council, friends, citizens of College Park, good evening. I'm happy to bring you an update on the current state of the city. The economic forecast indicates that we will continue to be challenged in finding ways to overcome deficits and still struggling economy. The city and its citizens and business and employees are impacted by economic downturns at College Park had and will make tough financial adjustments, just like many other cities around the country and the globe. College Park remain, remains unique as a city of 14,000. It is primary it is prime geographic location. As an airport city, we've developed a negotiated reputation as an innovative progressive as well as attracting wonderful developers. I believe that because of planning, dedicated city workforce, dedicated council, and being a physically responsible, College Park is among those cities that have more optimism regarding the growth and stability in the future. We'll continue to work on those areas of improvement and let's share some of the 2012 accomplishments we received two awards, one from the Land Institute and one from the Land Region Commission. These awards recognize College Park Great Way Gateway Center Development Project as an exam sample development model and for a responsible use of land with minimum impact to the environment, ensuring future economic growth for the region. The Gateway Office Building is 100% occupied. We have tenants like GMC TV Headquarters, Magic Johnson TV Network, Aspire Rolls-Royce, two British-based companies, Melrose North American, and Aerotech, with many others. Nowhere else but in College Park can you have prime office space strategically connected to a light rail and nowhere else in the world do you have that connected to Hartsfield Jackson or an airport like that. We continue green. I think green in the future is going to be the initiative a lot of people hear green. Green has to do with recycling, promoting uh, alternative fuels such as CNG, we have the largest CNG facility in the southeast right here in College Park. It powers uh, our go buses as well as commercial and private sector. <coughs> Within the community, the uh, retrofit a million program initiated by College Park Power and customer service educated our citizens on energy conservation. I don't have any light bulbs and other things that we gave away, but I know that this retrofit gave a lot of citizens new type light bulbs and many other things. The completion and the opening of a 142 room hotel in our downtown area. It's a major contribution to the downtown street. It adds to our hospitality in inventory. We recently launched College Park Destination Marketing Organization. It is critical element to enable College Park to competitively position hospitality products in the global market. We received a grant of $335,000 for two quiet zones, both basically in the downtown area. Hopefully in the future we'll continue to get further grant money then we can eventually do them all. But I think this is a good thing. It will make, make harbor in roughly a quiet zone. I think that is a good step for businesses to be able to succeed. Logistically, College Park has become the destination and consideration and choice of major developers based on intermodal access. 
we are more available land in the region in most cities. Most of that has been comprised of noise airport buyout land that we have been able to get back under our umbrellas and uh, I think it's going to put us on the region to uh, be able to have some development opportunities you should know other city can see. The city continues to experience new business startups and our anchor businesses are stable. Cisco Foods and Buckhead Beef, Southwest Airlines, Woodward Academy, Chick-fil-A, and most recently, our Buckhead Beef has moved, which is owned by Cisco Food. Improvements in our city streetscape, lighting, a filtration system at the historical golf course, improvements to the Bill Badgett football and soccer fields, contributes to the quality of life for all of us. I believe in College Park being projected to our city's resources and services, superior recreation programs, water and sewer, sanitation, public safety, power service, and major focal points to our city. In November 2012, the Mayor and Council increased the millage rate by 1.05 mil that only covered a portion of a two-year deficit made it a revenue neutral for this last fiscal year. In addition, uh, we addressed growth cost capital projects, water and sewer fees were increased by 17%. However, these have been no reduction in services to College Park and maintains the lowest utility rates in the region. Budget for 2012-13 reflects a 1% increase over the previous adopted budget. Most, most of the increase relates to a 1.7 million contingency fund, which is an unappropriated money which revenue is slightly greater than expenditures. The city has also made cuts in some capital improvement projects and operating costs such as travel, supplies, and office expenditures. As for our city public safety, fire, police, departments continue to do a fine job in protecting life and property in our cities and businesses. At the end of 2012, College Park reported a 24.3 decrease in Berkeley's, which is the second highest reported decrease in Fulton County, and the highest decrease in the entire South Fulton region. I want most of us to realize that College Park may be 14,000, but we grow to 200,000 in a given day. In 2013 through February, 13th, there have been 71 arrests made on all National Highway area in cases that affect the quality of life of our citizens. These cases range from lottering, drug possession, and corruption. On the 9th of February, the police department, in the efforts to decrease gun violence, gun-related cases in the city, held a gun buyback program. We bought back 172, gun, 172 guns were taken off the streets as a result of this buyback program. For anyone that didn't see that, the handguns, with the exception of about a half a dozen, were all what I would call a Saturday night special. There was uh, several uh, rifle-type guns or hand rifles that were bought back that uh, we're also what I would call Saturday night specials. We currently have 34 street level cameras and four cameras that will be added to, Mug, to Maine and Rugby at Harvard and two at Georgia International Convention Center. In addition, there are 34 level with 46 additional cameras located in the City Hall, Police Department and Recreation Center on Godwin. Our city is very dedicated to using technology resources to express the experiences of public safety staff to keep College Park as safe as possible. 
we encourage you to continue to be the city's eyes, ears, which will help us remain a safe city. I've always said that we all have to look and work together. I believe that great teams in College Park work together, and together we become a great team. As the city continues to work hard to create a civility viable environment to live, work, and play, we ask that the citizens continue to support our community by being members of our team. Thank each and every one of you what you do for College Park.